Now, he was the creator of characters like oh, Slack Alice, Apricot Lil, and Everard, talking about Larry Grayson, who rose from the back streets of Nuneaton to Saturday night TV stardom as the host of The Generation Game. Now, two decades after his death, the touring play is shining a spotlight on the comedian's little-known private life, revealing that he used psychic mediums to guide his career. Andy Bevan reports. When Larry Grayson stepped out onto the stage at London's Dominion Theatre on November the 28th, 1994, it would be his last appearance in public. His opening line was strangely prophetic. They thought I was dead. <laughs> in fact, okay, less than six yeah. weeks after this short routine at the yeah. Royal Variety performance, one of the nation's best-loved entertainers was dead at the age of 71. Are you Pisces? No, I never drink. I'm Virgo. Three Days and Three Minutes with Larry takes place in the star's dressing room as he prepares for that final appearance. Grayson is joined by a spiritual healer called Mark, who's based on one of the many psychics the comedian consulted during his life. You were Widow Twanky? Oh yes, twice nightly with the mudlarks. Three shows on a Saturday. Well then you've known what it is to suffer. Oh I have. Shut that door. <laughs> Draft here's wicked. No, the thing is, you see, I, now I'm here, I've got the worms. No, the thing is... I was four when he died, so um, I didn't know of Larry, and I knew, because I do comedy anyway, so I kind of knew who he was, and I'd seen bits on YouTube and documentaries and things like that. There wasn't a lot to talk about um, homosexuality then. It was certainly not the done thing to be openly gay. <laughs> But for some reason, people were quite happy to accept this incredibly camp man. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that he was so liked by people and eventually loved by them. Well, I'm worn out before I start. Born William Sully White in 1923, his unmarried mother gave him up to the Hammonds family in Nuneaton. His foster mother died when he was six and William was cared for by his elder stepsister Flo. His journey to the top of the show business tree began as Billy Breen, a teenage drag act performing in working men's clubs. In the 1950s, he changed his name to Larry Grayson and began doing stand-up comedy. His limp-wristed routines eventually caught the eye of talent agent Michael Grade, who put him on TV. During these last three weeks, she's been on the floor more times than she has all the rest of her life. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. I told you in bed last night, didn't I? I'm <laughs> Despite his on-stage persona, Grayson never came out as gay, nor did he publicly acknowledge his dependence on mediums to guide his career. But late last year, Larry's great-nephew, Mike Mallion, who still lives in Nuneaton, published a biography called Seems Like a Nice Boy, in which he tells of his uncle's psychic encounters. Even as long ago as the 50s, he, he went and saw a, a fortune teller in Leamington Spa, and she actually predicted that he would, he would become a star and it would have the year seven in it. So 1957 came along, nothing had happened. 67, nothing happened. 71, bang. He suddenly became, you know, after 40 years of treading the halls, an overnight success. Fame brought Larry his own show at his dream venue, the London Palladium, and then TV's top job as host of the Generation Game. But he quit while still pulling in millions of viewers, some say on the advice of a psychic although his family have always denied that. I was in the very... Audiences will have to make up their own mind about what's fact and what's uh, fiction, what's but the portrayal of Larry Grayson's last performance is certainly anyway, word and action perfect. And before I go, for all you people at home, I must just say it once. Shut that door. <laughs> I love you. Andy Bevan, ITV News. Shut that door. It's got to be one of the most bizarre catchphrases of all time, <laughs> isn't it? It's good to Shut see it again, though, isn't it? <laughs> and you can see Three Days and Three Minutes with Larry at Theatre 7 in Shrewsbury on Sunday, April the 24th, and the Festival Theatre in Malvern on April the 29th and 30th.